Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum number of words found in sentences. So a sentence is a list of words or a collection of words that are separated by a single space and there are no leading or trailing zeros, which means there are no spaces in the beginning or the end of the sentence. So in this question, we're given an array of strings called sentences where each element inside the sentences array represents a single sentence and we have to find the maximum number of words that will appear in a single sentence. So let's take the first example. We are given this sentences array which consists of three sentences. So this is the first sentence, this is the second sentence and this is the third sentence with index position starting from zero. This word, this sentence has one, two, three, four, five words. This sentence has four words and the last sentence has one, two, three, four, five, six, six words. So six is the output because that is the longest sentence. Now let's take this example and see how, how we can solve this question. So I've taken the same example given to us in example one. We have three sentences. So this is the first sentence, this is the second sentence, and this is the third sentence. So the index positions of those are zero, one, and two. So we start our iteration from left to right. We access one sentence at a time. So we start with the zeroth sentence. Now we have access to the zeroth index sentence. And we find the length of that sentence by splitting that string into a string array using a space. So wherever there is a space, that string will be split and added into the string array. And if we find the length of the string array, you'll know how many words are present in that. So Alice and Bob love lead code has five words. So five is the length of the string array. And in the next iteration, we move further. We'll be pointing at the first index. Again, we access that sentence and we convert that sentence by splitting it into a string array. And when we find the length of the string array, you'll know how many words are present. So I think so two has four words. So we find the length of that array and we go to the next. And in the second index, we have the last sentence, which has six words. This is great, thanks very much, it's six words. So if we find the length of that string array after we convert it into a string array, you'll get six as the output. And among this, we find the max element. The max element is six. So six is the output which is expected here. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. So the input array is sentences array. So this is the input. Let's take the first example. I create a variable called max word, which is initially zero, which will keep track of the maximum number of words in a sentence because that will be returned as the output here. So we start iterating from the beginning of the sentences array. So we start from the zeroth index. So we have the zeroth index sentence first and we declare a variable count which will count the number of words in the current sentence. So we are accessing this sentence first and I'm converting into a string array so that we can find the length of that array. So words is a string array. Length of this array is five. So count is now having five words. So update count with five and calculate the max. So count is five and max is zero. So max is equal to five. So update max with five. So zero will be updated to five. In the next iteration, we are accessing this sentence and we are resetting back count to zero because we need to find the number of words in the current sentence. So count is now back to zero. Now we are counting the number of words in the string by finding out the length of the string array. Length is four. So count is updated to four. And we are finding out the current max and count, count is four and current max is five. So max will remain as five. And in the next iteration, we are accessing this sentence. And before that, we are resetting back count to zero. So count will be resetted back to zero. And now we are finding out the length of that, this last sentence, which is having one, two, three, four, five, six. The length of that sentence is six. We are finding out the length of that sentence, which is six. So count is now having six. So zero will be updated to six. And now we are finding out the length of the count. Count is six. And now we are updating the max. Count is six and max is five. So max is updated to six. And in the next iteration, we reached the end of the sentence and we come out of the for loop and return whatever is present inside max words. Max words has six, so six will be returned as the output. So the time complexity of this approach is of n, where n is the length of the input sentences given to us. And the space complexity is also of n because we're using a string array to find the length of the sentence. So the space complexity is also of n. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.